Inspiring conscious minds at conscious times. Welcome back to Troy Let's Talk Real and I am Troy. Apparently in November we have two consoles that will be launching, not just the PS5, but apparently Atari is going to be throwing their hat in the ring with the Atari VCS, a new version of the classic Atari VCS game. <laughs> and apparently it's going to be launching alongside the PS5, which I think is a tremendous mistake. Um, but anyway, at any rate, this is basically an update version of the 1977 Atari. And, you know, it has some new modern 2020 tech, and including the AMD Ryzen CPU, AMD Radeon GPU, and 8 gigs of RAM, which of course is expandable if you want it, but it can also output 4K HDR. But the Atari VCS also comes with a USB 3.0 and HDMI Ethernet port for wire connections as well as a Wi-Fi and Bluetooth wireless connectivity. So this thing is going to meet the minimum modern specs of what gamers are used to even though it's going to come with a ton of classic games that I'm not really sure if people are really into. But you will be able to get an Atari modern controller which is basically an Xbox One knockoff controller game pad but you can also um, get the Atari classic joystick controller um, you know and, and if that's what you like that's what you like and that's what you can get you can also run uh, a Windows bootable external USB um, program on this particular console uh, it has a dedicated PC mode so you'll be able to mod this console as if it's a PC because at the end of the day it is a PC um, and, and, and that's to your liking and that's to your liking but it also runs the Linux OS system which comes pre-installed with a ton of classic Atari retro games as well as current titles from a range of studios which I find quite interesting because what studios at this particular moment will be putting their games on the Atari platform with the anemic uh, specs that's inside of it. I don't know what it can run. Um, maybe it can run games that are equivalent to what's on your phone. Who knows at the end of the day. Um, but one of the most egregious things to me that I found very ridiculous and which will ultimately I believe will make this console bomb is the $389 US price tag. And um, <laughs> look you can get a next gen console right you can get a PlayStation 5 digital for four hundred dollars so you're telling me for ten dollars less I can get an Atari VCS for 389 this doesn't play any new gen console games it doesn't have any new features it's not even a console that anyone's looking forward to but you can get it in three colors you can get it in black walnut onyx black and carbon gold Atari is fooling themselves. I think they missed the wave. I think they should just pretty much become a software company because their hardware is not competing with the likes of even Nintendo. And I'm not taking a shot at Nintendo because I'm a big Nintendo fan. But at the end of the day, I don't think this console is going to fare well like some people think. 